Hello everybody. I wanted to uh, share with you how I have uh, made sure that my plants do not have powdery mildew or rust. Now this was just on accident that I found it out, but what I start doing is I start pulling leaves from the bottom and I work my way up. And you'll see on all of my plants I have done that. They look, they look naked from, from the bottom up. Well, as I have done that, I have found that my plants do not get the rust or the powdery mildew. Now, this one right over here has some uh, leaf spot. What, what was that called? Tip burn, tip burn. And that's from a calcium issue, so I will have to address that. But uh, by and large, look, look, at, look at my healthy plants. Now this one I don't even have. I only pulled a few leaves on the bottom. Oh, look, it's a cicada. It's a cicada skeleton, exoskeleton. So, um... So this one, I still need to pull some leaves, but when you start pulling those leaves at the bottom, and you can even see with my mulling, I don't get the icky, rusty, blighted leaves. So I have read several things about spraying with hydrogen peroxide or Dawn dishwashing liquid or things like that. Now. I, I'm not confident enough to do that. I'm trying to keep my plants as much as basic and natural as you can. But uh, look at that, that beautiful head on that. Got a few little aphids in there. Remember we saw those little aphids before? Yep, right there. But. I'm confident they won't do anything to the plant because they haven't been. But now see where this cereola is already seeding out the top of the head on the canadensis and the varosa are not even, they've still probably got four or five feet to grow on them. So I did want to bring y'all that. And uh, I have been out in the evenings picking my mullein blooms. But remember when it comes to uh, the leaf rust or the powdery mildew, if you start pulling those leaves off of the bottom of the plant, then you're going to avoid that. Uh, now this is when you're farming your own plants, you're cultivating your own plants. Now the other thing is, you can plant them further apart than what you would find in the wild. That is another benefit of farming your own plants. And I know everything just is all kinds of various shades of green, but I hope you can see the different plants in here. I've got a Varosa right here. And then over here I have several canadensis and that big tall one 